Okay, I'm I'm broadcasting from my uh, my self isolation COVID quarantine on day 417. It's been 417 days before I became self-aware, meaning from when I knew I was COVID negative. All right, and then so I have 417 consecutive days that I know it's COVID, I was, I'm COVID negative. And because I really started tracking this around Christmas of 2019, because I planned on going to visit my father, uh, who is uh, going to be 95 years old in a, a few weeks. And uh, he was actually uh, at the time about to, tell me the time he's about to turn 93. So I, I want to cover something that comes up a lot. Uh, part of my morning routine is I, I'm doing the, I'm pretending like I'm getting ready for work. So I get up before the uh, the virtual classroom st schedule start time. Home room is eight uh, eight thirty. Uh, class starts at at, at at eight forty five. So before you know, from seven forty five on, I'm getting an hour before class starts. I get my equipment ready. I dress like I'm physically going to the school. And actually, I would be getting I, I, uh, on Wednesday. I'm sorry, on Tuesday. On Tuesday, I actually went up to this. I, I actually marched like band leader style. I was up there with the. Uh, I was up there twirling my baton and doing the the the, the and you know and, and doing doing this and the and uh, the. the, the and I know it looks insane, but I marched up a very steep hill and down the other side. You know, going to the school was an uphill battle. Okay, it was an uphill battle. And coming back was downhill. But the bottom line is I marched. I marched to the Trolls other si the other side song. Okay, the whole way. I just had it on repeat. And I would just, when it, when it, when it, was, when it was going back to the beginning of the song, I, I, I would see if I could keep, I was still, could still keep time. Because I, 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 you know, I used to be able to do, I used to be pretty good at twirling of a time. But you can do this, a stick too, because it's balanced. It's balanced. So you can do this like you do over time. Once you know where the center balance is on. All right, so I can twirl this. I'm, I'm proficient, semi-proficient with my dominant hand, which is my right. My left hand, to my surprise, that's muscle memory from almost 50 years ago. So about the same time I learned how to swim, I learned how to twirl a baton, and I can still do it. I can still ride a bike. I I ride a bike when I was like seven. You know, my sister was a few years, always a few years older than me, so I got introduced to stuff about two years before a kid my age normally would. That goes for instructional material and it goes for you know hobbies and and, and activity and, and you know sports and anything else you know my sister my older sister is very much an athlete uh scuba diving swimming uh 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 she played she was a uh, i think she did volleyball she played varsity volleyball and varsity soccer i think so she was very, she was a proficient and accomplished athlete uh both before and after being in school um so you know it wasn't it wasn't a matter of gender we were just very active we were only two years apart and we were very active together and as individuals i played soccer yeah, i played soccer in, 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 in junior high school and then i had a growth spurt and i couldn't play <laughs> but anyway i didn't call you to talk about me i called you to talk about this which is pure castile soap now the big deal now and it's green it comes in a green bottle, so I, I, I can find this. This is in the store, believe it or not. This is pure soap. I don't know what you're using, but it's not It's not soap. It's not even soap. It's detergent. You're washing your body with detergent. This is soap. This is pure Castile soap. And I want to read to you the very short list of ingredients. Water, organic coconut oil, potassium hydroxide, uh, and, and, and none remains after saponifying oils into soap and glycerin. So they're telling you they use an oxidant, an acid, to make the soap, but it evaporates out of it while they're making it. So you're not getting that ingredient on it, but it says what it's made with. 
It's a recipe. When you look at your food, it's a recipe. Your soap is a recipe. All right, um, organic olive oil, organic, which I use anyway. I rub it all over myself when I'm cooking. I, if, I, if I get me on my fingers and stuff, I rub it on my, on my skin. Organic olive oil, organic fair deal hemp oil. So this is, has CBT in it. This product has been the ghost or stealth CBD product in the stores for years. It says right on the label that it has CBD in it, but nobody looks that close to, to read it. Look at the fine print on this. This bottle has has like a, a, a if you wrote this out what's on this bottle, it would be like six pages of information is on this bottle besides the ingredients. And it's ki highly concentrated. I don't know if you can see that. But this is highly concentrated. And it's you can, and it's organic, so you can use this inside or outside the body, meaning you can clean your ears, your nose, and, and even brush your teeth with this. Okay, this this is the only thing you need to clean yourself with. It's Castillo soap. It's all in one. It's the all in one soap. If you don't need the toothpaste, if you look at the ingredients in there, you probably never use any more toothpaste again. If you looked up what those ingredients are in toothpaste, okay, um, it's got a lot of extra ingredients. Besides, if you're gonna, all you need is a baking soda, which is the abrasive that get, that gets the mineral deposits off your teeth. Every, the soft food should come off with the brush. You really don't need toothpaste to brush your teeth free of soft food. The toothpaste is to get off deposits and plaque of food that is hardened, hard as a rock at your gum line. And that's what the toothpaste is for, is for dissolving that. And it really, you should use, you should use a, a pick. You really should, uh, I don't have mine handy. You don't need to see what I, <laughs> you really, you need a, you need a, a pick. And you should brush your tongue. You know, people wouldn't, wouldn't have, the breath wouldn't sting so bad if they brushed their tongue in the morning. Okay, you've been sleeping all night and, and it dried out. Okay, so it's kind of funky. So you should, I, I recommend brushing your tongue. But again, a soap that's good on any part, of, any part or inside or out. This is, not, this is not toxic. It may irritate, but that's what soap does. If you get soap in your eye, it's gonna sting. I don't care if it's, it's a, a physoderm, uh, was the soap back in the day or it's baby soap the baby soap's got a lot of ingredients I wouldn't put on my kid baby soap I would put this on my kid because if they, if, they, if they wash their hands with it and they put their hands in the mouth and start sucking their, on the fingers this is not going to kill them or, 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 or damage their brain okay it, so it's got the CBT uh, it's got jojoba oil it's got almonds for fragrance this smells like almonds. You use this soap, it makes you smell like uh, almonds. It smells, you, makes you smell like an almond joy or a coconut, it's, it, which is what an almond joy smells like. It's coconut and almonds. You smell like a coconut almond when you, when you use this soap. And um, natural citric acid, so there's a little hint of citrus in here, uh, kind of perks you up. You know, but it makes you kind of alert using this, and uh, and tocopherol, okay. And you 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 see the soaps. This has a certain consistency to it. All right. In fact, you can't put this in a pump dispenser. It will clog up the pump dispenser. Okay. So the tocopherol is to give this a certain consistency. It's very it's very silky. It's a very silky smooth soap, and it's concentrated. It's concentrated. You do not need a lot of this. You really, I, I've had this a long time and maybe the fifth of the bottle is, is gone because I use some other essential oils since this is the good stuff. I save this for, for uh, you know, this is special occasion soap for me as far as I'm concerned. I use the soft soaps and of those, I only use the ones that have essential oils in them. The, 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 if you don't go cheap on soap. If you're real, if you, you know, you can go spend a couple of hundred dollars on bath soap. Trust me, you can go in the store and spend a thousand dollars on soap easily because the, the soap's made out of um, that organ from the whale, that, that, that special organ in, in the whale that they, they really don't want them uh, killing the whales just to get that, that out of them. There's a, there's a, there's a, um, there's a hormone or a, uh, 
a, 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 a um, secretion from the whale. Probably sexual in nature. Uh, obviously sexual in nature because they put that in perfume and, and soap and it's supposed to make you, it's supposed to be an aphrodisiac. So you can get some soap that's an aphrodisiac. Uh, you can get the gel soap, like the dude in uh, As Good As It Gets, but Jack Nicholson, Good As It Gets, was, was, will only use the gel soap, the pure gel soap, the gelatin soap. And he used the bar once and threw it away. That was insane. He would throw away those bars of soap, probably now with, during the pandemic, those bars of soap from As Good As It Gets, those gel, like amber gel bars, he probably paid, probably now you pay $25 a bar. And he was using it once and throwing it out. And he had a medicine chest full of them. I don't know if you remember that movie. It, it, I remember that movie for two things. The way he used the soap one time and threw it in away in the garbage. You know, he's that much of a germaphobe. He would throw it in, use the soap bar once and throw it in the garbage. It's expensive soap. Very expensive soap. And he's scalding hot water on top of that. Okay? And then... That dog had a, uh, that, uh, that, that, that movie had the dog, a Brussels Griffon. And I was, I was, I was dated, I dated someone that had that dog and that, that dog was the, the end of our relationship. That dog was the bane of our relationship and the reason why we're not, we weren't together anymore. It's the reason why, you know, we might've still been together. I don't know. But she got the, she got the puppy and we were kind of in isolation then because it was like during a snowstorm when she got the puppy. And I'm like, you know, it's like he smelled the puppy smelled the scent of my dog, who was dead. This is this. It's like between me getting my cat Penelope and me losing my dog, uh, Tobias. Okay, so there's a there's a big gap there. Okay, there's a big gap. Uh, Tobias died in 2008, uh, and I got Penelope in 2012. So you know, it's, it's a gap. It's a gap. Yeah, you know, and she was already. I didn't know that until I took her to the vet. That she had already had she had already had kittens, but she was she was she was an outdoor cat. She was an indoor outdoor cat. Whoever she belonged to her before, uh, she, you know, she let her go out and roam, go go on a stroll, and then she was sleep. Because cats are not uh, um, are nocturnal, so they need some place during the day to sleep where they don't have to worry about being attacked. And they like to sleep with their back, you know, in, in like a cave or a cubby or a place where they don't have to watch their back and the front. And, and that's where they curl into the ball. It's a, it's a protective position when a cat curls into a ball. If they're really comfortable, they stretch out. And that's why I love the fact that my cat always, would, she'd lay out. If I got up out of my chair to go get something to drink or eat, I come back or out of the bed, I come back and she'd be stretched out where I was. She's like, oh yeah, I'm, I, I'm sorry. This You made this spot so warm and so comfortable and it smells like you, so I'm just, I'm just taking it over. So you find some place else to eat your food, or some place else to, to sit and write, or, or read your book, or paper, or whatever it is you're doing. Because it's just too comfortable, you know, where I am now. I was doing my taxes, and had a spot lamp on the papers, and went and went to the bathroom and came back, and she was on the, on, on underneath that. So I do my taxes in January. I, I am, in fact, I'm doing them now. Yeah, I just, you know, the, now meaning it's January and I'm doing them. I'm waiting on some documents that may not be right. So, and I don't, I don't want any problems, especially with all this going on. I don't want any problems with my refund. I don't want any problems with my refund. And I'm doing, so that's why I'm rushing to get this done now because I'm doing, I'm the, as long, I, Uncle Sammy said, before they change anything, Uncle Sammy says right now, I'm getting a really nice refund. So I'm going, I'm filing this sucker by the end of, by the end of, by the Sunday. My taxes are gonna be in the mail. But anyway, I, 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 that's more than I plan on putting this. But it's a very old saying, and it's on this as well. It's actually on this container. And this is, uh, uh, I'm not, I don't advertise anybody. This is Dr. Bronner's. You, it's the only one in the store. There's no other choice, as far as I know. For pure Castile soap, with all these one, and then on the bottle are blessings. And, and all kinds of really pearls of information. Take too long to do them here. I'm already way over my time. I've already five times over the recommended time for doing information videos, but I'm sorry. This is important stuff. 
if you got a few minutes to sit down and watch this, I hope you do. Uh, because this is, this is, this is just, this will get you through this. This and foot baths will get you through the next two, three years. Okay. Use pure ingredients. This is self-improvement time. So a self-improvement tip, this self-improvement tip is you are what you eat and you are, you know, you are what you eat, what goes inside and outside of your body. So and if you're wondering why this is, I'm practicing talking with this on because I'm going to have to do that if we return to work inside the school, which I don't, it's, I think it's highly unlikely. But it's supposed to happen Monday. Um, I think that I think we're going to shut down for uh, for 90 days. This will be 10 days of making sure everybody has enough money to eat and a place to stay because the evictions are out of control. The evictions are just out of control. I, I go to the park or I go to the, or I go to the, the, the I went to the laundromat and a homeless couple try to rip off my laundry detergent. Just for an example, I'll repeat that again. I went to the laundromat in Teaneck and a homeless couple tried to steal my laundry detergent while I was outside practicing my baton twirl. Okay, if I didn't come, I set a timer on my wash. If I hadn't set a timer on my wash, my laundry detergent would have, I would have picked the bottle up and it would have been empty. She had a huge jug of softener and detergent empty on on my machine. And was going to act like it. No, she was just consolidating a large bottle. My detergent, which is a large bottle. I just want to give you, put this in perspective. I use the good stuff. It's all oxy, oxy, uh, oxygen bleach enhanced. Okay, so she was gonna rip me for some stuff I was gonna be mad at that, that somebody got me for. Seriously. I was gonna be mad that she got me for my Clorox 2. This is my Clorox 2, which you always gotta put in another bag because they don't seal very well. And my OxyClean. This is why I don't use softener and I don't use liquid bleach because it, it'll take, it takes the color out of it. Most black clothing is white clothes dyed black. It's not made with black material or a material that originally was black. So if you, this is, this is, this is very gentle on clothing and people. You can actually use this. This is bleach. You can use this with your bare hands. So I wash, this is my second load wash. This is this this fits because I'm talking about soap. Oxygen enhanced liquid soap goes in or, or powder soap goes into one thing. I don't like having to add water. This already is added water, so you really get to get gypped slightly with this. You know, but and this is heavy. I really should get the powder version of this. But the store doesn't always have both. So this time I got this. This was six dollars for this big jug. So they were trying to rip me off of this and this. And this, which is Clorox too. I don't even open up. This is the this is this is the color safe bleach. And I, instead of putting liquid bleach, I put this in because if you're using public machines, you want to sanitize the machine. And this does it. This is ox. This is this is uh, acid bleach. This is hydro hydrogen bleach. Hydrogen based uh, 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 hydrocarbon based bleach. Okay, and in and, and powder form. And I put that in, in the bleach, I put that in and put a cap of water on top of it. So it actually goes down through the thing. Although the thing does flush water through when the bleach is released during your cycle. Okay, so they were gonna get, they were gonna have a field day with me. Even though I went to the family dollar store and I got this, this is like $6. A tub of OxyClean is six bucks. It's about six bucks for the Clorox too, and about six bucks. So they wanted to get me for about twenty dollars in laundry detergent. With the places walk, the places two doors down. I could have gone and got some more, but it's just the principle that there are desperate homeless people, and there are people, and there's what I call border guards. I right, that think this reminds me. I have to call the community officers that I know and let them know that they're border guards. And what is a border guard? A border guard is treacherous niggas. They're actually casing little old ladies and vulnerable people, uh, 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 patrons of the laundromat. 
they're like trying to rip cars off and and and, and rip people off that are there in the store. I mean, it happened to me. I'm not talking. This is not hearsay. While I was washing my clothes at a laundromat in Teaneck, okay, and in the past when I've driven there, I took an Uber there. <laughs> I took an Uber. I didn't feel like I didn't feel like carrying my my laundry, and, and it really I don't. And when I bring my car, they try to break into my car while I'm doing my laundry, so I don't bring my car to the laundromat anymore. But the solution is not to just run away. I'm I need to let the I, I'm going to let the the Patina police know what's going on up there because it's out of control. It's it's actually got leading up to the, the, the four weeks up to the election, it was actually worse than it had ever been. You know, I, I, I do my wash. I don't like dirty clothes, having dirty clothes around. I just don't. And now living in a dorm, I definitely don't like the dirty clothes around. So I wash my clothes weekly. I wash it once a week, sometimes more. In the summertime, it's more. Yeah, because I'm sweating up the clothes and I, I, I change clothes as I get them sweaty working out. You know, but you're really sweaty working out. Um, or they get wet because I went swimming. So, they, you know, so I'm just saying, um, you are what you eat, um, and you're also, you should watch what you put on and in your body when it comes to, uh, things like toothpaste and ear wash and mouthwash and body wash, okay? Most of the body wash on the market is detergent. Most of the body wash on the market is like that. Is uh, okay. I, I have to do this for illustrative purposes. Most of the body wash on the market is made out of this, not this. Okay, this is pure Castile soap. This is detergent. You know, and I try. Uh, this is okay for your clothes. I, I don't. I haven't tried this. I wouldn't do it on a public machine. I, maybe I'll try this on my. Cause this is very thick. This is very thick. This is thicker than this. Okay, so you know, then, then liquid laundry detergent. This is definitely the Castile soap. You can get Castile soap in a bar, but the concentrated like this again, the bar is convenient. All this stuff was done for convenience. This is liquid for convenience, so you don't have to get water and mix it in. But you're getting zipped because the, this is mostly water. You're paying like this is all detergent, and it's not like we're paying for gas. Ten percent of the gas we buy is ethanol, is moonshine, is is, is genetically manufactured corn. It's used to make ethanol, and it was supposed to be alternative fuel. And we're going to burn moonshine, corn liquor. We're going to use corn liquor for, for to power cars rather than dinosaur juice. But that never happened. Okay, just like the metric system never happened. So anyway, a lot, of, a lot of thoughts in this one, but don't put this on your body. Put this on. Get a nice soap. Okay, get any of the like soaps that have like jojoba oil in them or the CBT oil in them or coconut or almond oil in them that it says it has real extracts in it. Real extracts of almond and coconut. Those are the liquid soaps, you know, that come in the, those are the liquid soaps that are gonna cost you some bucks. These are a few, this is, it's a little, it's a cost a little more than the other soaps, but it's worth it. There's real macadamia oil in here. It's mostly water, but there's real macadamia oil, and I can tell the difference between this and the, the stuff that's detergent. It's really detergent. Uh, and yeah, see, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, it's almost clear. So there's not a lot of colorings in here. There's a lot of preservatives in here and emulsifiers to keep it consistent and keep the ingredients from, from separating when they're filling it in the bottles. So, you know, why not just get the concentrate and you can do whatever you want with this. You can make this, you know, make a batches of this. You know, but it doesn't, you're not wasting it. This is, this is a waste. It really is. But I like, this is convenient. I keep a basin, basically a basin of water and I, uh, you know, to, to wash my, to wash my hands off with. I do not use hand sanitizer. No. Hand sanitizer is bleach. It's, it's, it's gel bleach. And, um, I don't want to use that and then eat 
or accidentally touch my eye or my ear or put my hands in my mouth or something, you know, touch a, a, touch an opening in my body because it's bleach. I don't use it. So all you have to do is wash your hands. And, and you wash your hands for the time it takes you to sing happy birthday to yourself. Twice. Okay? That's how long you should wash your hands. Both sides too, front and back. All right. That's all I got to say about that. Use the good stuff when it comes to soap. It's part of self-improvement. So this is really a self-improvement lesson to use real soap and real, um, um, you know, on your clothes. If you're not using real soap, like this, the other stuff is more like this. And that's the message, uh, uh, that's the message of this message. <laughs> and go Jets, that's the other message. Okay.